Hello, I'm Ken Kurzel. I'm joined by Katie Davis and Brendan McKittrick, fellow members of James Moore's intercollegiate athletics team. Uh, today, we're about going to talk about name, image, and likeness, which if you haven't had your head buried in the sand for the last year, you've undoubtedly heard quite a bit on this topic. It started with legislation in the state of California and has been followed by an NCAA working group, which is tacitly approved, uh, moving forward with some way to pay athletes for their name, image, and likeness. Well, and I think it's going to be a complete nightmare if they continue to create legislation on a state-by-state -state basis because they're going to have to ha follow 50 different sets of rules and compliance is not going to be able to keep up with that. So my hope is that this NCAA working group works to create guidelines that will be applied nationwide. And really the impact to athletics and athletic departments is unclear as to what kind of controls they'll need to implement to monitor uh, the transactions that are occurring with the student athletes. Really a lot of these endorsement deals aren't going to be through the athletics or the school itself. They're going to be through uh, the student athlete and the third party directly. So athletics will have little to no involvement on that end. So those are good points. What can a school do in preparation for this? What are some best practices? Really, education is the key here. Athletic departments are going to have to work with the student athletes to provide financial literacy. Uh, and they're already doing that to some extent now, but they're going to need to include uh, name, image, and likeness in that because it's going to be complicated and they're going to need help with that. Well, and they're going to need to start early with that and also with brand management um, because I see brand management and financial literacy going hand in hand um, because you want to make sure that they're able to maximize the return on their investment in their name, image, and likeness. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking about this for a while now, that the tax impact to the student athletes is going to be a big mm -hmm. surprise for them because um, really there's going to be a lot of non-cash transactions that are going to have mm -hmm. some tax liability to them. And there's also going to be state taxes that they're going to have to deal with. Um, really, a lot of these endorsement deals are most likely going to be some sort of apparel or even mm -hmm. automobiles and other non-cash transactions. And what's going to happen at the end of the year, there'll be a significant tax liability for these student athletes that they may not have the means to pay uh, those taxes. Swap on. Yeah. And, and I mean, I think... Um you know, from the state tax standpoint, I share this story all the time. You have a, a high schooler who grew up in Georgia, family still lives in Georgia. They moved to Florida to play football. Um, and there's different state tax implications. Um, Florida is not a state tax um, state where Georgia is. Um, but then to even further complicate it, let's say the student, um, the team goes to the Rose Bowl. And so uh, while in California, they're making appearances, they're signing autographs and getting paid for that. Now you're subject to California state tax potential potentially in addition to Georgia state tax. And um, that could potentially be double taxation. And regardless, all of these things are things that um, student athletes aren't prepared to navigate on their own. No, and it's not hard to imagine seeing uh, some of them going broke. I mean, we're, we're all aware of pretty shocking statistics out mm -hmm. of professional athletes where many, many go uh, bankrupt a short while after the playing career. That could happen even even more so uh, at the collegiate athletic level, potentially, uh, where, where some of these athletes will be receiving money that they've never seen before at, at, at different levels. So really the financial literacy and, and training on that is mm -hmm. going to be key. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the university needs to think about what the risk management looks like for them, because, you know, your example with an athlete going broke or maybe they forgot to pay their taxes, that's going to hit the papers. And then what does that mm -hmm. look like for the university's reputation? And not only that, that, but a lot of them are going to be influencing on social media. And if their brand doesn't align with the values of the university, that could create some issues as well. Right. You make a good point on the enterprise risk management. The university is going to have to look at this from a perspective of even though it's the athlete uh, that's receiving the money and potentially, um, you know, potentially having issues with taxes or uh, you know, other financial trouble, really, how much of that uh, reflects back on the university negatively, and therefore, how do they integrate that into their enterprise risk management system? So, all really good points and questions. Mm -hmm. Well, the NCAA is going to have to move fast, um, but they also need to be really careful at how they navigate this and that they're thinking about all of these nuances as they create their guidelines. Mm -hmm. And really, I think it comes down to the NCAA is really going to have to enforce um, student athletes to report or disclose their name, image, image and likeness earnings um, so the athletics can, can kind of track that. And really on the responsibility for athletics, they're going to have to understand these endorsement deals and help the student athletes understand them and also manage those as well. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is a huge issue. Uh, it's changing fast and day by day and, uh, and coming very soon to the uh, intercollegiate athletics world. We look forward to having a continued dialogue about this and other issues uh, as we move forward. 
Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, visit us at jmco.com for information on this topic as well as many others. Thank you.